spend my time staring out the window at a girl in the middle of it all. I don't know her name, but her face remains the same. I blame myself for not going that way. What if I came your way on this particular day? Well, I want to know you. Hi, I'm Al Bangert, and this is I Always Wanted to Do That, a TV show that Mike Davis and I have put together to bring you, Situate residents, interesting stories about people in Situate who have interesting or unusual jobs, professions, interests, hobbies, or pursuits. And uh, we're really dedicated because we're out here on Lighthouse Point in Situate Harbor today. It is windy and freezing, but it's very appropriate because we're going to meet with meteorologist Mike Wonkum, WCVV's meteorologist. Mike is out here right now. Here comes Mike Davis. We're going to have Mike, uh, Mike and Mike have an interview. Hey Mike, how are you? Hi Al. Ah, a familiar face. Oh, good to see you here. Good to see you here. Good beautiful you. day, huh? Thank you. Thank you for the time today, yes. <laughs> Didn't you like when I invite you out in such beautiful weather? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And we may have a, snoo a few snow flowers. Yeah, yeah. Out. The lotion so. effect snow going on. It's January. It's supposed to do that, isn't it? <laughs> so you'll, you're going to look uh, as familiar as I on Situate Community Television. Mike Monkham is, uh, is our guest today. And we're going to just talk a little bit about uh, meteorology. Sure, and, uh, sure. And uh, you, you grew up in... Uh, well, I grew up in Iowa. I grew up on a farm in Iowa, but I've lived in Situate now. It's, I hate to say it's about a quarter century now, ooh, so ooh, it's, ooh, my kids ooh. have grown up here, I've been here, this is really home to me. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And uh, you obviously have an interest in weather, yep. I imagine, if it's your career now. Well, it's, uh, it's very funny. When I first came to Boston, this is back in the early 90s, uh, they said there's this thing called the Big Dig starting, and we didn't know where to live, so we said, okay, let's live south of the city. Okay, that narrows it down to a few places. My wife was originally from Seattle, so she said, okay, let's look for the ocean. And then somebody said, hey, the big storms are in Situate. Guess where we ended up? So this is where we lived. And, you know, we, it, it, in television, you know, it's a very nomadic existence. So we're thinking, oh, we'll probably be here a couple of years. We'll move on. That was a quarter century ago. We're still in the same house. That's great. <laughs> so, That's great. And we love it. Situate has been just a wonderful, yeah. wonderful place. Some of our best friends are here, and we uh, we just love the city. That's good. That's good. <laughs> well, our, our uh, Iowa's loss is our game. How about that? <laughs> I, I, I hear you were doing a little bit of tornado uh, chasing. Yeah, actually, my background is in tornado chasing. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, I went to Creighton University, and uh, it was very funny because I used to chase across parts of Nebraska. Nebraska and South Dakota. And then about a year ago, there was a big tornado outbreak in eastern Nebraska. And David Muir, who works for ABC, called up and said, hey, can you be on the news that night? Had no idea that I knew that area really well. And I was able to talk all about the towns. And, you know, I remember going to track meets at that, at that school that was hit. Uh, you know, so it was very, it was interesting how sometimes you think of something that really has nothing to do with your life at that point, And all of a sudden it comes back home and you go, oh, okay. So, and David Muir has been a great friend of ours at the station as good, well. Good. So. Yeah, he's done very well for himself. <laughs> Your weather background then comes from when you were yeah, I, it's interesting. I grew up on a farm in Iowa, and on a farm, in, in, in kind of the basic, you know, if it doesn't rain, you don't eat. Uh, so you kind of learn an appreciation of weather. Uh, and so weather was always very interesting to me. I never thought of it as a career, and then I got to college, and it was, wow, I can do this. And, and people actually enjoyed what I was doing. So uh, that was many, many, many years ago, uh, pre-computer, actually, yeah, in many yeah. ways. And uh, so I got involved with weather, and then we worked in Iowa for a while, and then we worked actually in Virginia for a while too hot down there. I couldn't handle it. So we headed back north. We came to Boston and uh, it was it just been a great experience so for us. So those were in the days when you'd say there's a low and you'd move it over? My, a high. I actually have uh, my first weather map I actually use as the headboard on my bed for a number of years. We had real old maps. Now of course everything's all computer generated. You don't have any of that but I still have that old map sitting on some place in my dad's farm. So. And of course last year at this time we didn't. Oh we're going to bring snow. that up huh? Oh yeah. Because yeah, you're going to get blamed for it. Oh I will not take blame because I won't take credit either. You know, on a beautiful, warm, sunny day, I, people say, Mike, thanks for the weather. I go, no, 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 because that means I get 
to blame when it comes to winter so as I well. I think it was about this time last year that we had no snow, and then yeah. all of a sudden we were shoveling every January day. 23rd. I yeah. mean, yeah. we were having the conversation about lack of snow. It was pretty mild out. Um, all the conversations we're having this year, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. But there's several things going on this year that are different from last year. Last year we had the cold, you know, and it was really got cold. Um, moisture content wasn't that high. That snow that we got was very fluffy. So many times, you know, with storms, we talk about, oh, it's going to rain in situ, it'll be snowing in Worcester. There was none of that. It was just snow everywhere. So we had several things going on this year. One is we had an extremely warm November, extremely warm December. We've got El Nino going on, which is the warm of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, all of those things are kind of combining together to point to the fact that it should not snow that much You've this heard winter. It. Yeah, that's right. Heard it. <laughs> and of course, we will erase this tape should this ever happen. You know, not happen. Uh, but it, it, it does look like one of those mild things. The other thing too is that Mother Nature likes to even itself out. You know, if you get 110.6 inches of snow like last year, you got to bring it down to 50 somehow, and so you have these very low. So it's really looking a lot like the um, the winter of 2011-12, where we got nine inches of snow. Nobody remembers that one, but I mean, it was just really one of those things where it was rain, the snowblower kind of sat there next to the lawnmower and did nothing all winter. Uh -huh. uh, last year, I wore out my snowblower. <laughs> so. A lot of people did. Belts yeah. were breaking, things were flying oh, that were in the yeah. driveway yeah. that were given flying out in different directions. Oh yeah, it was, it was quite the year. And today you're talking about some... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at ocean effect snow, and ocean effect snow is really where we get the cold air blowing across the ocean, uh, and what happens, it picks up that moisture and it deposits some snow. Usually it's going to be out over the Cape, just because they stick out like that, you know, and really the outer cape is where we're talking. But if the wind shifts just a little bit, we get some here. And I, I'm seeing a few flakes in the air right now. There's we're not going to be shoveling here, this at all. Yeah, we're, we won't be shoveling this at all, but it's still really, really, uh, you know. It might be it's sweeping. Fun. Yeah, that's right. Get a, get a snow blower. It's I mean, not a snow blower, but a, a vacuum blower kind of thing, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, because yeah, it's exactly really, really yeah. powdery stuff that we're talking about. Well, that's great. So, uh, What's in your future? Uh, well, I, 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 Channel 5 has been great. You know, I was over at the You're old 56. 56 right? I was there for 13 years. Uh, the station was bought out by Channel 7, and we basically went away. So I was unemployed for eight hours and went over <laughs> to Channel 5. Uh, they had, we had had conversations over the years many times, and they were an extremely great organization to work with. They're really one of the top TV stations in the country, very well respected. Uh, as you can see, if you watch network television, I know half the people because they've been through there. Uh, and the other half just chose to stay because this is home and this is where I consider home as well so when when the old 56 shut down there was a lot of opportunities to leave and really didn't want to and my kids are very you know very comfortable here and I'm very comfortable here uh, and we said what's out there and Channel 5 said hey come on over we'd love to have you and so I've been over there now for uh, nine going on ten years now so a great organization to work with great team great weather team uh, you know I get to work with Harvey Leonard who can remember the barometric pressure at noon on the blizzard of 78 he'll tell you what it was at one o'clock uh, you know, it's just phenomenal the amount of knowledge that he has available to us. And we have the younger people who are coming in, and as they come in, I learn things from them because they're just coming out of college. You know, I'm old enough to remember when we didn't have that much computing power, so it's really kind of nice to have all of that available to us. It's great, it's great. Uh, so somebody's watching this uh, segment yep. of I always wanted to do that, and they say, I always wanted to be a weatherman. <laughs> what should they do? Well, I, big thing is, of course, school. Make sure you're really into school. Do your math, your sciences, things like that. Um, meteorology on TV is actually a very small part of the meteorology community. There's all kinds of people who are working on computers and, and uh, forecasting and National Weather Service. I mean, even things like that you wouldn't think would have meteorologists, like a chocolate bar company would hire them because if it's hot, they've got to know if it's going to be too hot to make sure the chocolate doesn't melt. Um, so there's a lot of companies that are involved in meteorology, power companies. So do the sciences, do the math. Uh, also along the way, make yourself interesting. Do some fun stuff, you know, an art class, a theater class. Um, you know, I mean, I stand up here and I talk about the weather. And so it's kind of nice to know a few of those things as well. So just make yourself a well-rounded person. Make yourself interesting, you know? Do you want to talk to an interesting person? If you go into a cocktail party and you're not going to spend more than 20 seconds with them, probably not going to be on TV weather. Right, so. right, right. And <laughs> but, you're an award winner right here. Yeah, I've, they, they, I've been around long enough to give me a few along the way. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I've gotten some Emmy Awards and some AP Awards, and uh, it's been very, very gracious that way. So, uh, But I, th I think that you know the biggest reward is you have a good show and everything works well, and you go, yeah, that was good. Yeah, you know, yeah. forecast works perfect. Yeah, you know, I'm loving this because this is what I was talking about last night. I'm working a little ocean effect snow, so it's yeah, great. Thank you so much. Oh, my I pleasure. My pleasure. Oh, good my pleasure. Again. Anytime, anytime. <laughs> what a fun episode that was. Here is Mike talking to Mike. Mike Wonkum.
CVV's meteorologist for years now, 25 years, he said he's been in the Situ area and, and working on uh, local television, knows all about the weather in New England, I guarantee you. Works with some great people at the studio uh, in Boston and has uh, just been a great interview. So I look forward to other interviews like this. If you have an idea for someone you'd like to see us interview, then give us a call or write us rather on, at uh, our email address sctv at situatema.gov. That's sctv at situatema.gov. So give us your ideas. We'll track them down for you. I'm Al Bangert. Look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Cause it's